Hi everyone, Kendra here. Um, I wanted to do kind of a little bit of a natural color 101 um, because I've seen a lot of posts over the past few weeks that are the equivalent of how do I create XYZ color? What's the best way to get ABC color? What's the best ingredient to use for this color, that color, whatever color? Um, that is a lot of what the book's about, the natural soap color palette. Um, so these are just kind of for fun. I have some of my Ann George colorants. This is Kutch, Red Sandalwood, and the lovely Alkanet. And this is what an Alkanet infusion looks like. Got a little bit of paprika. The infusions aren't really the big thing I wanted to talk about today though. Um, when you get a new colorant, the first thing you should do, and this is covered in the book, is you need to figure out whether it's water soluble or oil soluble. And in the book, there is, I should have bookmarked it before I started the video. There's, this is one page of the chart. There is a chart of colorants and whether or not the oil soluble or water soluble. If it's not in the book, you can ask in the group. Someone should know. Okay, so that's great. You know it's water soluble or oil soluble. And then you go and make tests with it. You either add that colorant to a tea or a slurry, or you do an oil infusion. And now you know what color that colorant will make for you. But how much of that colorant should you be using? What if you want to get pale colors, dark colors? Does that color stay? I Meaning, does it last after six months to a year or not? Well, no matter how many times I tell you what I do, or another soaper tells you what they do, it's not gonna be exactly the same for you. It might, it'll be similar. I mean, we're not using apples versus oranges. We're all using, say, maybe Alkanet, but is it the same quality Alkanet? Are your oils the same as my oils, as far as the base color of their oils? What does, um, oh, uh, sorry, I thought that was a comment. It's Facebook telling me something on the screen. Pardon, sorry for the interruption of me being distracted by Facebook. Um, but as I was saying, my colorants are not gonna be the same as your colorants. Your colorants are going to look like the, your color is going to create a color that you obtain from your herbs with your processes and your soap base. So I love the post, how do I get a color ABC XYZ? But if you want to avoid the need for those posts, you, you should get the book and do what the kind of book was set up for. These are samples from the book. Um, these are the soaps that are featured in the book. And this is what I was hoping everyone would do with this. Let's see if I can open up so you can see it. So these are all the colors. And there's lots of photos of these in the group. These soaps are, what, um, two years old now? Granted, they're stored like this in a box away from light. But you can see, there's my Anato. There's another Anato. There, and here's, here's another one. So this is, look at these three Anatos for a minute. Different colors, right? Yellows to oranges. Um, different percentages. You could even try different strengths of infusions. Blending will give a different color. These two have the same amount of annatto in them, but different, but one has carrot. And when exposed to light, the carrot will last longer. That's another tip that I included in there. Looking at purples, this is the anti alkanet powder here versus straight up alkanet. Look at the difference. This was a pretty vibrant purple when it first started. I'll get it off my green shirt. 
Okay, so by having these colors, so let's get back to the point of, of why you're going to do this. By having all of these colors, it, it's like a swatch book for when you want to blend colors, for when you want to make a new soap. So let's say I was looking for how to get a pale yellow, and I knew that my favorite colorant for yellows is annatto. And I know that this is what 10% annatto, of my annatto with my processes and my infusions in my recipe. You should have one that's your base recipe too. So this is what my yellow is. Is that too dark for me? Do I want something paler? And it gives you a starting point so you can use the tools you have versus running out and buying new colorants, trying something new and say, oh my gosh, I need to get 20 bars of a soap that's baby powder pink and I need to do it in six weeks for an event or something happening. Um, and then hoping that someone else has the answer. So by making a set like this for yourself, you'll be able to answer those questions for yourself and help you get the colors you want without a lot of waste. Um, when you're making these, the book does include instructions for what I call a micro batch. Um, so you, you can make one bar of soap and you can use your infusions in that. You can, um, this is my favorite with the greens. So these are the greens, spirulina, a blend, um, chlorella, and then the best stain blend that that I've been able to create. And remember, these are two years old. You can see how much the others have faded. This was a great green, kind of like my shirt. Now it's kind of a, an army green, whereas this is still green green. And I'm getting my head chopped off. It's either my head or let me see some of the stuff I have here. Um, anyway, I, I hope that that kind of helps um, with you and some of your questions about how to get XYZ color or ABC color. Um, find colorants that you have access to, run test batches of them, even just one bar of soap, understand if they're water or oil soluble before you start using them, and then save your samples so you know what colors you can make. And the next time you want to get a nice orange and this isn't the one you want, maybe you blend these two and get an orange. Um, okay, I, I hope that helps. I hope for those of us in the US, you're having a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, I decided to take a little break from that for a bit and talk to you as I saw more posts coming in. Um, but yeah, keep asking the questions, keep posting in the group. It's a lot of fun for me to see all of your soaps and I look forward to your next post. Bye everyone.